With high inflation and a recession potentially looming, it is more important than ever to plan out your financial future and really have steps in place to take care of that. Kim Mahoney joins us now with tips to really make your money go far this year. Ken, welcome. Uh, great to be here, my friend. What is your prediction this year, Ken, when it comes to fiscal perspective? Uh, I think, you know, we turn the calendar to a new year and not a lot has changed. We're still worried about high inflation and the Federal Reserve raising rates, combating that inflation and causing a lot of havoc. I hope the things towards the second half of the year as the market looks out six months, nine months anyway, that things start stabilizing. The Fed's no longer raising rates, they're actually just keeping rates the same and we get back on some type of growth track and so forth. But again, I think it's gonna be kind of choppy waters early on, but I hope to get a little headway as, as the year progresses. It has been choppy waters. Kim, you wrote the book, Not Your Father's Retirement. Why a book and why that title? You know, it reminded my, my family. My grandmother worked for Reader's Digest. She had a pension. My father worked at a local construction company. He had a pension. And I've uh, been doing this for 34 years and trying to help people. And, you know, pensions are disappearing. And, and again, I've seen such a disparity between those and those have and have nots. Those who have a pension seem to have a retirement that starts earlier at 55. And those that don't have a pension kind of start retirement at 65 to 70. So it seemed to me to be a pretty big problem that no one's really addressing. The term and the existence of a pension, as you just illustrated, seems so uh, archaic because companies aren't offering that anymore. I mean, I re I left a company that luckily I had a pension, nice. but now new employees that are that are becoming part of that company, that's that's not even a, a benefit anymore. It's it's really startling. How can we increase, Ken, our contributions to our, our our retirement account in a time where inflation is high, money is tight, and some people don't even know where their next meal is going to come from? Again, it's not an easy environment for all those that you stated. However, uh, companies like reoccurring expenses, Wall Street loves companies that can keep reoccurring expenses. Think like Netflix, just $14.95 a month on billions of people, you know, type of thing. Now, as consumers, we don't want reoccurring expenses for things that we're not using. So I encourage people to take a look at their statements, whether they print off their statement or get the hard copy statement and start going through the monthly expense and say, you know what, this reoccurring expense it's something I'm not really using. And I challenge people to do that. And people come back, I swear to God. I found $200 a month, $400 a month, even $500 yeah. a month of people not using this stuff. 100%, myself included. And those reoccurring expenses are on cards you, you may not have seen in a while. Right. I call them ninja. I'm guilty of it too. I'm like, e-fax. What the heck is e-fax? 1995 a month. It's totally. There, you know? so, yeah, I think we're all guilty of it. But we got to take some time for ourselves. We're running such a speed and we got to check our Twitter and notifications. That slow things down. I challenge everybody who's viewing and anybody else um, that I think there is a way to find those extra contributions and it's right there in those expense reports. You're the best, man. Thank you. Great. Thanks, man.